video we're going to look at probably the most fundamental flow in potential flow theory which is the uniform flow and we'll use the Cauchy-Riemann equations to develop a mathematical model for this flow. The first thing we need to do is get the potential function and the stream function. And the way I remember this is to draw a simple diagram. If you draw this diagram these equations become very obvious. So we've got a uniform flow here, this is our velocity V infinity and these are the streamlines obviously and at right angles to streamlines we have the equipotential lines which are your um, potential functions. So we can equate this with the Cauchy-Riemann equations in Cartesian coordinates uh, you should know these from previous courses and this is the u component of velocity, that's a component acting in the x direction so from left to right that's obviously v infinity equated to these very simple to rearrange those and get the potential function and stream function and obviously v is going to be zero because all of the flow is going left to right there's no flow going up or down hence v equals zero so by rearranging this, just some simple integration, we get that phi equals v infinity x and the stream function is v infinity times y. And if you look at this diagram, that's very obvious. It's when you're changing the um, equipotential surface, so you're moving from this to this, you're changing x and when you're moving up to the next streamline you're moving in y so that's why the stream line the stream function is in terms of y and the potential function is in terms of x so just drawing out this diagram you see those equations immediately but usually we see these used in polar coordinates because for things like um, point sources they're done in polar coordinates and the conversion is very easy. You've got your equation here that we just derived from that simple diagram or the Cauchy-Riemann equations and you know in polar coordinates x is r cos theta and y is r sine theta you just substitute those in so the r cos theta is going in there and the r sine theta is going in for y and you get this and this is your model for a uniform flow and that's all it's very simple. Thank you for watching.